Hi everyone, our lesson today is permutation without replacement, repetition or return and we have a problem to solve which is shuffling standard deck of 52 cards. So we state the problem in how many ways can we shuffle standard deck of cards. These are all the cards, the hearts, the diamonds, the spades and the clubs and we are going to place all of them in this urn here to start the shuffling process. In real life, every time we shuffle these cards, we are going to get a new random distribution. We do that randomly by cutting these cards, intermingling them together to create a new shuffling. Now, is the order of this card important or not? Every time we change the shuffling, the distribution of this card among the player is going to change. Therefore, order is very important. So the question here is, how do we shuffle this card in mathematical way? We are going to shuffle these cards by withdrawing it one after the other and placing them in order here from 1 to 52 until we create one random shuffling. So now we have to withdraw one card randomly among the 52 cards and let's assume that this is 8 diamond this is number 1 card we call it now we have to withdraw out of 51 cards another one and let's say this is 5 spade and we call it number 2 and again out of 50 cards we are going to withdraw one random card and let's say it is king clubs and this is Num card number 3 and out of 49 another card and another card another card until we have only one card remaining in the urn we withdraw that and now we arrive at our distribution at our new shuffling and these cards are now numbered from 1 until 52 one after the other or one above the other. Now we created this random shuffling. The generated sequence we have arrived at, which is a random shuffling, is resulting from a one cycle of shuffling. Every time we repeat it, we are going to get another sequence of random shuffling. Now the question is how many possible outcome we can get out of this experiment or how many possible shuffling we can get out of this experiment if we repeat it a billion times, quadrillion, vigentillion and so on. So to do that we are going to map every card to a number. So we take the hard cards, we map them from 1 to 13. The diamond card, we map them from 14 to 26. The spades, from 27 to 39. And the clubs, from 40 to 52. Now we mapped every card into a number. So 8 hard is corresponding now to 7. 7 spade is corresponding now to number 34. And so on. Now we have 52 cards all mapped and the group of objects we are going to permute are from 1 to 52. The number of all these objects is n equal to 52 objects. Now we have a look at possible generated sequence, which is this sequence here. We couldn't write it on one line, so we wrote it in two lines here. And in this generated sequence, we have 52 symbol. We have to pay attention that 40 doesn't mean two symbols. So all 40 is one compound symbol. So this is one symbol. And now we have to ask if we can apply the permutation formula. Is the order of object important? 
yes it is shuffling every shuffling is going to generate a new order of cards the second question do we withdraw the card without replacement yes and if we do then the ace is going to be repeated many times which is physically not possible so yes we are shuffling without replacement or we are withdrawing without replacement so the question is the number of card equals the size of the generated sequence yes we have 52 objects and 52 symbols so they are equal and in such case all the condition to apply the permutation formula are met so we apply this formula pnn equal to n factorial and this is permutation without replacement of 52 ordered cards taking 52 symbol at a time now we have n equal to r equal to 52 we substitute in the formula and we compute this number which turn out to be huge numbers this number represent permutation without replacement of 52 different ordered cards taken 52 cards at a time we can solve this problem by writing all the withdrawal event in order from 1 to 52 and for each withdrawal we write the corresponding number of occurrences or the ways of occurrences so for withdrawal 1 we have 52 cards and for withdrawal 2 we have 51 cards and for withdrawal 51 we have 2 and for the last withdrawal we have only 1 card we multiply all these ways together to get the number of all possible outcome in order without replacement and this is the number if we expand it we get this huge number here and if we try to name these places for example the first few digits so we have here 80 on Vigentillion which is 80 times 10 to the power of 66 and we have here 658 Vigentillion and we have 175 Novin Decillion, 170 Octodecillion, 943 Septon Decillion and so on and so on and so on until we arrive at 277 quadrillion and 824 trillion this number is so big in comparison to the population of earth which is 7 billion to the point where if we create a lottery out of it and stipulate that the person winning the ticket should win all these 52 numbers in order not in a million years there would be a one person winning it but maybe in a million years the population will grow to this number and we will have that chance maybe so that's it thank you very much for listening and have a good day